If you've been holding back on serving charcuterie to your guests just because you're worried you won't pick the right cheeses or you'll serve the wrong drinks, while I build today's charcuterie board, I'll answer five frequently asked questions about serving charcuterie and hopefully I'll encourage you to create your own tasty charcuterie board for your next get-together. Charcuterie is a French term for cured meats, which can include anything from salami, prosciutto, ham and bacon to pâté. It's most often served on a wooden board, though wood isn't the rule, and often accompanied by a selection of cheeses, fruits, nuts, crackers and other delicious bites. Charcuterie can also be any size, from single serve to grazing tables if you're really, really hungry. Guests love variety and choice. Don't ever feel you need to buy a special yak's milk cheese or the most expensive cured meat. When selecting your meats, just choose a few common favourites. A spicy salami maybe, a creamy prosciutto or simply sliced hams. Those will give you a variety of flavours, colours and textures that make your snacking guests happy. As for cheeses, offer a choice of soft and hard cheeses such as brie, goat cheese or even a flavoured cream cheese spread, perhaps chunks of whole cheddar. Gouda is a nice mild choice, while blue cheeses of course can deliver a bigger punch. Adding a sweet taste like grapes, figs or pears or even chocolate will complement the salty meat and cheese. You can of course also add nuts and crackers to give it crunch. When arranging your board, start by placing the cheeses or large items first to set the stage. Then, just add the meats and fruits around them. Your display will look pretty good pretty quickly. Use small bowls for wet items like olives, pickles or mustards. Of course, making your board look appetizing is important, but also think about how your guests will select and pick up the goodies. So make the snacks easy to access. Provide little spoons or forks or cheese knives. You could use small tags to label the meats and cheeses so that your guests can easily identify them. I don't. If it looks tasty, they'll happily eat first and ask questions later. By the way, this board today contains a variety of about 20 different snack items in small quantities and I will likely fill in all the gaps, so I'll probably need to add bread or crackers on the side. This board is a good size for five to six chatty friends to graze without spoiling their ability to enjoy any dinner or sweet treats you may also have planned. You don't want anyone too full that they can't reach over and hit the like button or click the subscribe. Hint, hint. I'll presume you're not serving the royal family and it's just a friendly gathering, so when picking your wines, you don't need anything pretentious, it really just depends on your personal preference. However, you can't go wrong with a red wine such as a Pinot Noir, a Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon. If you prefer white wine, then a Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc can also work. And if you want something bubbly, a sparkling wine like Prosecco or Champagne is also a great choice. Of course another choice is sparkling water or just a nice spring water that gives a great option and can help cleanse the palate between bites and refresh your taste buds before you dive in for more. So like the choices on your charcuterie board, a variety of drinks to choose from will also be appreciated. You'd need to be trying really hard to mess up your charcuterie board creation. If you're serving a variety of snack or finger foods, you're probably going to be pretty popular, even if they're still in the package. Fortunately, there is no charcuterie police force or board of evaluators judging your display. You do you, just go for it. And that's it, five easy questions I'm often asked. So over to you, don't over plan, serve a selection of tasty snack foods arranged in a nice charcuterie board presentation and your guests will love it. Naturally, don't forget the wine or the fizzy water. If you have any other charcuterie tips or questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more tasty, entertaining ideas. Thanks so much for watching. Happy snacking.